So check it out. Shore Elementary Magnet School of the Arts is our 10 News School of the Week, powered by Duke Energy Florida. This morning, we have a special guest, a weather question from Gabriel, first grader over at the school. And he wanted to know how big are raindrops. Gabriel, I've got that answer for you, sir. Uh, it's actually it's a difficult answer to that relatively simple question. Raindrops honestly don't look like that typical raindrop figure that you might expect. When they're small, about one hundredth of an inch, they're pretty small. They're pretty tiny and they're just shaped like a, a little bead. But raindrops can be as big as a quarter of an inch. And when they get that big, things begin to change and actually shaped like a bead. They're shaped more like a hamburger bun. And as these larger raindrops fall through the atmosphere out of the cloud, they interact with the air, they, they collide with other raindrops, and they begin to change shapes as they fall. Eventually, if they collide and they become big enough, these raindrops can break apart into smaller and, and more raindrops. So a raindrop, if it's big enough, will can constantly be changing as it falls all the way, all the way down to the ground, eventually landing on the road. We will continue to be answering all of these weather questions from our 10 News School of the Week.